Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Tork. Hey, I thought we'd go for a walk in the neighborhood here in Frankenmuth and uh, talk weather. Let's talk about what we have coming for the next couple of days. Let's talk about. Oh, I. Oh, quiet, Max. I found out that <laughs> we stop getting the yard waste picked up at some point in the year. Um, so let's talk about three things. Hey. Let's talk about the weather we have coming here the next couple of days. Let's talk about sudden stratospheric warming. I'm gonna write about that later on this morning. And then let's also talk about, uh, a couple of posts went out about the polar vortex roaring back and could that happen? And yes, it could happen, but we'll talk about that here in just a moment. Hey, it's time to walk the dogs. Good, day, good, good morning for it, except that it's raining, and here comes the rain. We're starting to get a few raindrops here in Frankenmuth, so we'll all have showers today. If you're in Lansing, if you're in Grand Rapids, uh, Detroit, uh, you already have the showers going. Hey, good morning, Jennifer Carroll. So, yeah, it's going to be showery this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. And into the early afternoon, then it'll taper off some. Now, for tomorrow, we thought that rain would change to snow it still will change to snow but I don't expect a whole lot of accumulation I'm talking an inch or less in most spots so I don't think that it's gonna be a really big deal hey good morning Eugenia Jerema and Chris Ratajak rain starting to come down a little bit more now good morning um, so the big problems with travel, I think overblown nationwide. Sorry. Yes, I admitted it. Meteorology in the media is overblowing the storm in the east. It's a big rainstorm, but it's mostly all rain. You're going to run into travel problems if you're uh, driving into West Virginia, and you're going to run into travel problems in uh, the western half of Pennsylvania and the western half of New York State. That's about it. Now, will flights be delayed because of solid rainfall uh, in the Northeast? Yes, probably, but it certainly beats a whole bunch of snow. That really uh, delays flights and cancels flights. So this is a uh, Saturday, Sunday storm system on the East Coast. Watch for that. Uh, really kind of get in tune with the weather if you're going to be driving like I said in the mount through the mountains of West Virginia through western Pennsylvania uh, western New York State maybe wait until Sunday once a storm system moves on out of the area all right now sudden stratospheric warming sounds scary doesn't it it's not really it's a normal process and researchers I think have discovered it oh maybe in the last I don't know, 10 or 20 years, what we found is, first off, remember, the, the atmosphere has, has um, the troposphere, that's the first layer of the atmosphere, that's where all of our weather happens. And there's this density membrane, I like to call it on top of that, called the tropopause. And then we have the stratosphere. So the stratosphere is the next layer up. Not a lot of weather gets up into that, but a little bit. But what researchers have found is that at the polar region, North Pole, the stratosphere will warm up over a week or two time period. And they call that a sudden stratospheric warming. And they've discovered it now with better ways to uh, measure the atmosphere. And so, when the when this stratosphere warms at the poles, what happens is there's a polar vortex in the stratosphere, and that breaks up into a couple of lobes and comes off the polar region and down into the lower latitudes like in our region. What they found is that the stratospheric polar vortex will break up. It'll affect the tropospheric polar vortex, that's the polar vortex that makes the weather in the weather part of the atmosphere. And when that breaks up, it'll usually slide to over toward Asia for some extreme cold there for a week or two. And then it'll slide back over the poles to the eastern half of the US. So sudden stratospheric warming, and then two to four weeks later, there could be a cold outbreak in the US. The point being is, could be. 
we have El Nino coming on strong and that is a warming situation in our region. So there's some uh, conflicting forces there. So when you read about this polar vortex gonna come back with a vengeance and stuff like that, again, over hype until we see it. Do we see it in the next two weeks? No. Do we see a few days that are colder than normal by five degrees? Yes, toward the end of the year, but nothing that is super extreme. And if you average it all out in the next six to 10 days, we're gonna be warmer than normal versus colder than normal, okay? Uh, what was the other thing I was gonna tell you about? Okay, I think we covered it all. So what we have is me taking a walk in Frankenmuth and it's starting to rain and you're gonna see, oh, I hit the wrong thing there. <laughs> and you're gonna see uh, rain this morning, mild temperatures. And then we're gonna see rain change to snow tomorrow but again, not much, an inch or less, I would say across the whole area. And then we're gonna get into a quiet period of weather, Saturday, Sunday, and as we go into Christmas, it does look fairly quiet. All right, there you saw the neighborhood. Uh, watch for a post today on a new updated January, February, March forecast from NOAA. I expect them to uh, sing El Nino, El Nino, El Nino and put us at warmer than normal. And then I'll have that post also on sudden stratospheric warming, some graphics for you on that. So if you want to understand this stuff a little bit more, uh, please delve into it. Hey, you got nothing better to do than learn about this crazy weather, right? Hey, good morning, Dan Yadu. Uh, from M Live, he's the head honcho. So uh, I'll say a goodbye to everybody now. Actually, have yourselves a great Thursday, already Thursday, and uh, I'll keep you updated on the holiday weather as we head on into the weekend. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, live from Frankenmuth, my neighborhood in Frankenmuth. And uh, thanks for joining me this morning. We'll see you tomorrow.